never ever find the right words And there's no way this is real life There's no telling you What's up guys, welcome back to the show, welcome back to another video and today we're actually going to be working on the F10 So yeah, we're finally getting into some mods, we're going to be meeting John at the shop I'm going to try to see if he can weld on my Valtronic exhaust Now I know you have to take this note into a muffler shop, but I think my boy can do it If he can't, we'll end up taking it to a muffler shop But we're only going to try to attempt to do it ourselves and try to do it completely at the shop To show you guys how to install it ourselves So that's going to be super sick We also have some some mods we got to pick up I already purchased them at this local recycle yard It was online, it was such a good deal um, We'll go ahead and pick those up, I'll show you guys what those are for a future video and then we already have the wrap and a few other things for the f10 uh, that's already here so crazy stuff crazy stuff without further ado I gotta go get my Invisaligns real quick get something to eat and then we'll head to the shop and get all this work done <laughs> just arrived at my dentist look at those pretty little flowers we'll be right back guys <laughs> All right, guys, so I just got out of the dentist. Uh, we're gonna go eat right now, right? Yes. So let's get something to eat, something scrumptious, something that we've never tried before. And we are here at Chipotle. Could you, Chipotle could you have guessed that, Jonathan? I would have never guessed. I, I would have never guessed myself. So let's go get some Chipotle. All right, guys, just got my Chipotle. I don't have any lettuce, but I know Jonathan got lettuce, right? He got lettuce. Um, what does that say? Oh, can't. Oh, hell no. There's no pork in this, guys. Don't worry. Keeping this thing head out. Anyways, 535 chilling right there. Are you ready to eat and then head down to the shop? Yeah. Okay, let's get it. Let's get it. All right, guys, let's head out. Guys, this is such a mood killer. Like, I'm replacing every panel on this car but this windshield. And this giant ass rock hits it and creates a whole circle oh crack god, on my windshield. Dude, that looks terrible. That's, Look at oh that. Oh my god. Guys, like, what? Look at how big this crack is. And it's super deep because it hit right here. Like you guys can see it hit right here and it caused all that. That's absolutely insane. I'm gonna go ahead and take this car to them on Wednesday, see if they can repair it, at least to the best of their ability. If not, it is what it is. And I'm gonna have to fork out $500. So I really hope they can at least repair it to the best of their ability. And if it looks kind of like blemishy, that's okay. At least a lot better than this will be a big deal. So I think in two days is my actual appointment. Anywho, we're here at AutoGator. Let's pick up some parts real quick. All right guys, so I just got this F10 steering wheel paddle shifters and everything the condition is pretty bad we're going to send this off to Oslo to get repaired um but yeah for 75 bucks can't really beat that hi jonathan what did we just cop bro the best steering wheel we just copped an m sports steering with paddles we're gonna do the paddle shift conversion with this steering wheel and we also got the airbag to match it i think this was about they were asking 300 i got it down to 220 this thing they were asking 300 for a normal one this one's in terrible shape let's show them the back of it real quick this so basically the the good condition ones were like three to four hundred the bad one was 75 bucks but we're gonna go ahead and send this off to ozza and get it fully restored so i'm not really too worried about that 75 bucks dude that's a huge that's, come up that's, that's and then 220 for that so like literally this conversion is costing me less than three 350 bucks that's not bad and i could probably sell my uh, my current airbag and my current wheel for like 150 200 so i i say that's a huge come up dun, 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 dun. ew it needs to be clean definitely sure. needs to be clean have some like super glue on it which i'm sure we can clean off not a big deal anyhow uh so this is the steering wheel we just purchased and this is the one that came with the car so we're gonna go and throw this one in the car and we're gonna send this off to ozza to get actually re to get this one fully customized so putting that off to the side let's see if it actually fits dude, that looks good that looks really good that looks so much better oh my god dude it's gonna be sick that's gonna be so sick i can't okay. wait for the customer one so let's uh, go ahead and go to the shop clean this up. a lot of good news in terms of that bad news so uh it is what it is but it is what it is. We are here at AutoGator and they actually do sell used cars as well. So do you think we have time? So yeah, I'm actually about to go inside and just look at the cars there and uh, just see if you have anything nice. Maybe a truck, maybe a truck. We'll see, we'll see. That's the bed for an F-150. Really? Yeah, that's also another bed for an F-150. And that's another one. Dang, you got three of them? Not bad. Got a few cars over here. Let's see if there's anything that's worthwhile. RX-8. I, I think that's the autumn. Ooh, dang. That one's kind of rough. Yeah, no, I don't know about this, John. I don't know about that. Yeah, I'm good. Yeah, this is a pretty sick looking Miata. Tell me you guys got a blow Looks motor or something? Have low compression. Probably. Oof, bad motor. Bro, guys, they have a lineup of trucks. This is this is what we, oh my lord. Let's get it, let's get it. All right, so they have a Dodge Ram 1500 for 5,000. Damage is not bad. Ah, uh, these are SUVs. Damn, this actually looks really nice. For the money, how many miles on this thing? 145? It's not bad, dude. It's actually a pretty nice truck. Headlights, look at this. It's fogging up. I mean, these headlights are super cheap. What's wrong with this truck? Yeah, so FYI guys, Autogator is based here down like Rancho Cordova. I don't know why I'm giving them a shout out, but I mean, hey, they they always got they always got some good deals, so I gotta show them some love. Dude, it looks good. I think it looks like it's wrong with the truck. It, does it have any issues it says runs and drives doesn't look like there's anything else on it okay cool 7200 bucks not bad for a perfectly okay. running truck oh, why does this look like an f-150 you know how because it is you know how chevy has like cadillac ford has like lincoln and this is like 
an upgraded Oh, Ford. a luxurious F-150? Yeah. What the heck? It's not bad at all. How many miles? How many? I mean, it does need a new center console for sure, but this looks really nice. I didn't know Link Lincolns and Fords are together. I don't like the Lincoln logo, to be honest, though. It doesn't look good, in my opinion. The logo. It's supposed to be luxury. I don't care. <laughs> That's cheap. Okay, I think I see one more truck. Let's go ahead and check that out real quick. Look at this one. So this is a single cab. Uh, the frame pillars, actually, they do look bent. So that's a little, that's a little, uh. But uh, 5,500, how many miles? 2014. This is 24, bro, this thing looks ancient. Look at, look at the it screen. Doesn't even have, doesn't even have power uh, windows. Hell no. 2014? This is a definite work truck, dude. Bruh. An E36 this? from the 90s has automatic windows. Nah, dude, I don't care if this is what you call a work truck. That's a cheap way of saying a piece of shit. <laughs> All right, now that was that was honestly very embarrassing. So let's head out of here. Uh, we copped some mods. We cracked a windshield. If this ain't a good vlog so far, I don't know what is. Make sure to smash that like button. We're gonna head down to the shop right now. Let's get it. All right, guys, so we just made it to the shop, but I don't think I want to tease you guys with the steering wheel. So the first mod I like to do with every car is a steering wheel, mainly because stock steering wheels suck. They just do. This thing has no sponge to it, an absolute rock. This airbag is hideous. I just don't like what's going on here. So we got a sport airbag. We're gonna go ahead and clean it up before we install it. And then we also got a sport steering wheel that actually came with the car that didn't come with paddles. The one that came with paddles, we're sending that off to Ozza to get a custom steering wheel for this car. But for the meantime, you are gonna have an M Sport steering wheel. We can rock. It's gonna be very comfortable, very nice. What is going on here? Bah, 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 na, na, na. So anyways, get the car in the garage, work on that, and then uh, we'll see how much time we've, been, we've had into this video. The video's gonna be at least 10 to 15 minutes. I can't add the exhaust video into this video because it's gonna make it like 30 minutes, and no one wants a 30 minute video, that's too long. But if you get this video to 3,000 likes, I will drop an exhaust video tomorrow. So I will, I will stay up two nights in a row editing for you guys and getting this stuff out for you guys. So remember, 3,000 likes, guys, and I'll get the exhaust video out tomorrow. Today, let's go ahead and put an M Sport steering wheel with the conversion. We're doing a lot of good stuff already. All right, guys, so here's the steering wheel before. Let me go ahead and take a picture of this for the thumbnail. And here is the after. So, uh, bam, we got an M Sport steering wheel with paddles, which we're not actually using for this video. And then we also have the one that came with the car that's actually in way better shape. And then we also have the airbags. Let's go ahead and swap this out. I think it's gonna be super sick. And we might also fix the door handle depending on how much time we got here today. Let's go ahead and install that steering wheel. We have to disconnect the battery first, so let's be safe. So I've never actually disconnected a battery on this car, guys. So when you open up this compartment, it looks really nice, really organized and nice. I have a little couple bolts here, a couple wheel lock stuff. And then over here, I just have a couple folders, paperwork. I just put the auto gated paperwork for the airbag and everything right there. But then to remove the battery, you have to remove all this as well. So let me go ahead and put you guys in a time lapse because it looks like that's gonna take a little bit of time. First things first. Well, actually, guys, I don't think you have to remove everything. The negative tone was right here, so that's actually convenient to just disconnect it. All right, guys, just gonna go ahead and just disconnect the battery. Should be a few little twisties. Pull up on it. Oh, I mean, you have to finesse it a little bit. Just like that, battery disconnected, throw it off to the side, and we should be good to go. All right, guys, so coming in from the interior real quick. Um, These newer cars, like everything else in the newer cars, I love because they're so much easier. So this is one hole, it's right back here, and you just gotta push up the flathead like that, and the whole airbag should just pop out. So it should be quite easy. I'm gonna go ahead and sit you guys over there and show you guys what I'm talking about once I get this thing out. All right, guys, first time doing an F10 steering wheel so I'm gonna put a timer right here let's see how long it takes me to do it just like that guys I think that was like 10 seconds so honestly these newer cars so much easier to do I absolutely love them. Okay, that was a super easy disconnect. And now I think we just removed the 16 millimeter. We are ready to go. 15 millimeter, actually. Oh, I think I got it. Yep. Once we do this, I think there's just one more wire connected. And this thing just pops right on out. Steering wheels are super easy to do. Just make sure you have the battery disconnected so you don't have to clear any lights once you're done with all this. Like that, guys. Out with the old and in with the new. Just pop this sucker in. Should line up just like that. Yep. Oh my God, guys. So much better already. Let's go ahead and just tighten in the bolt now. Remember, always hand tighten, guys. Oh, that's not going anywhere. Last but not least, go ahead and add the airbag. We'll go ahead and clean off the airbag when it's on the car. It looks like it has some kind of super glue or something, which is kind of disgraceful, but uh, I think Jonathan can help me clean this off for the most part. Just like that. Oh my God, guys. 20 times better. Oh my God, that is gorgeous. Even the, mm, that is beautiful. Okay, perfect, guys. That's already a transformation. It makes this car look like an M Sport. Dude, like, guys, every mod I ever do, and Jonathan knows, like, every mod yeah. I ever do on all my cars is steering wheel first because it changes the whole feeling. Even if I have M Sport, I upgrade it to aftermarket. <laughs> like I always have to at least go one up because when you get a car, if you bought the car, that means you liked it enough. And then when you upgrade everything, oh man, oh there back in. If you guys want this, I'm only gonna be probably selling it for 150 plus shipping with the airbag. So if you guys need an F10 steering wheel with an airbag, 
150 on eBay. It is, I think it's pretty cheap. I think they're going for like 250 with the steering wheel and everything. All right, Jonathan's gonna go ahead and clean this up. We'll show you guys the before and after. So yeah, guys, here is the after. Look at that. Oh my God, so much more grip. Ah, oh, hold up, we gotta turn off the music. We just reconnected the battery. Actually, let's just see if we have a check engine light as well. I mean, I have a check engine airbags. Let's go to start up the car. So yeah, guys, here's the steering wheel. This is regular M Sport pre-LCI, but oh my God, it already makes the car look 20 times better. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and try to clean off the airbag as much as we can, but let's go ahead and give it a startup. Okay, okay. Airbag light, question mark? No, it went away. All right, guys, so you have no airbag light. We don't have to do any coating. Just make sure you disconnect the battery. Oh, guys, this feels so much better. Oh, I'm already loving this car. Oh my God, guys, holy bow. All right, guys, so check this out. It's already looking 20 times better. There's a little bit more glue over here, but it's not a big deal. Um, but for the most part, oh my God. Anywho, I'm super eager to take out for a test drive. Let's take this sucker out. Dude, oh my God, this feels so much better. Dude. Ten times better? It's night and day. I'm telling you, dude, steering wheels do so much. Oh my god. Where's the car now? Right. <laughs> oh my lord. Wait, is it popping out? Right there? Is it supposed to be like that much out? Right there? I think I have to push in the tabs a little bit down here, guys. Yeah. Anyway, other than that, we have to clean off the top as well, but... Guys, it feels so freaking good. For you guys, I love y'all so much. If you guys are trying to support the channel, make sure to cop some merch down below. Without further ado, guys, if you guys are enjoying the F10 build, you guys are excited for a lot more mods. I already have the wrap and everything at the house as well. I know I have a couple body panels coming in. I know I have a tune coming in. This thing is gonna be insane. So if you guys are ready for that, make sure to smash the like button. If you guys are also ready for the 135 build, make sure to smash the like button. Without further ado, guys, I love y'all so much. Remember to stay humble. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.